level says the diagram below shows change of state of matter with the processes involved marked i to iv now it wants us to identify the correct identities now let's start when you have a liquid going to solid when you have water becoming ice is called what freezing so this process is called freezing now when you have a liquid you're boiling water and it becomes vapor you call this evaporation okay when you have gas becoming liquid this is called uh, condensation okay that you have a vapor and it becomes liquid now when you have liquid now when you have an ice becoming water it's called what melting so with this we have i to be freezing i i to be evaporation we have i i i to be condensation and i v to be melting so the correct answer is a so i'll mark my a so um question 12 says which one of the following simple machine is the most suitable for lifting water from a well now you can't use ladder to lift water from a well that's very risky you can use a cat you can use a seesaw the best option for lifting water in a well is a fixed pulley you connect a fixed pulley on top of the well just like the one in this picture so you can see this is a, a fixed pulley um, this is a well and this is the bucket so you can the pulley is fixed and while pulling the machine you can draw out water from the well okay so question 30 says which one of the following pair of crops is correctly matched to each group now tea it's not a food crop so um so it's not matched correctly cassava is not a um it's not a cash crop beans is um actually a food crop why coffee is a cash crop so um i think the correct answer here it's already b so it's correctly matched question 14 says which one of the following pairs of mammals lay eggs now recall that um well it's a mama but it does not lay egg so it's not then um we have whale here so that option is also wrong now crocodile is actually a reptile but it lays eggs so it's not a mama so the correct answer is spiny ant eater and duck build platypus so these are mammals that lay eggs so the correct answer it's um, c Question 15 says the following is as a result of not taking care of teeth, except now when you don't take care of your teeth, you have chances of forming um, cavities, so that's not the answer. You can have bleeding gums, you can have bad breath, but shedding of teeth, now shedding of teeth is actually what happens to 6 to 7 years old where their teeth keeps falling off to grow um, the matured teeth, like their teeth fall off so that uh, the permanent teeth can now come to place so the correct answer here it's uh, d so it's not as a result of not taking care of teeth it happens to every individual question 16 says which one of the following consists of artificial source of light now artificial source of light sun is a natural source of light so that's not the option b is out of it now um matches is artificial kerosene lamp is artificial but glow warm is a natural source of light so it's not artificial now torch is made by man is artificial candle is made by man is artificial kerosene lamp is made by man so the correct answer here it's going to be d question 17 says which one of the following methods of preserving food is suitable for grains now one of the best way to preserve your grains is to dry it so when you dry it in the sun you preserve it sorting does not do that freezing will spoil it use of honey can also spoil it so the correct answer here it's drying in the sun question 18 says the following are ways in which the following are ways in which water is used for recreation except now swimming is a recreation activity you use water irrigation it's for farming 
so i don't think this is a recreational activity rather this is an agricultural activity surfing yes you can surf with your skateboard um on water then you can spot fishing so the correct answer here it's uh, irrigation so irrigation it's excluded because it's a farming activity now question 19 says which one of the following consists of matter that has a definite mass indefinite shape and indefinite volume now i want you to know that the matter that has a definite mass indefinite shape and indefinite volume is gas now why do i say so gas takes the volume of the shape of their container like air can only take the shape of the container when you put it in that container but otherwise air has no definite volume and has no definite shape so everything you should have in your option here should be a gas now water vapor is a gas air it's gas smoke is gas so the correct answer here is a so i'll circle my a now let's see why other options are wrong smoke is gas but wood is solid so this is wrong water vapor is gas ice is um, solid so this is wrong air is gas toothpaste is solid so this is wrong so our correct answer still stands with a question 20 says the diagram below represents a simple electric circuit the energy transformation that takes place in this circuit is now first of all let's look at the circuit now this is a battery now what happens in the battery battery generates what we call chemical energy so now this chemical energy can generate electricity that now moves through the wire which now generates this is now called electrical energy so electrical energy moves through the wire and down to now notice this is a magnetic bar and these are um, electromagnets now this is now what uh, magnetic energy creating a force field around the magnet so this is magnetic energy so you can see we have chemical to heat no that's the wrong answer now we have chemical to electrical so the correct answer here it's um, d so i'll mark my d option uh, b and c are actually wrong answers Question 21 says, which one of the following statements is true about veins? They all, now, veins carries deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body to the heart. Now, they carries blood away from the heart. No, this is wrong because arteries are the ones that carries blood from the heart to, away from the heart to other parts of the body. They carry oxygenated blood. No, arteries are the ones that carry oxygenated blood because the blood coming from the heart carries oxygen. They have thick walls. No, they don't have thick walls. Now, they carry blood under low pressure. This is correct. The reason why this is correct is because they are carrying blood from other parts of the body down to the heart. And the blood coming from other parts of the body are blood that does not contain oxygen. So, they carry deoxygenated blood. So the correct answer is um, A. So they carry the blood under low pressure because the blood does not contain oxygen. 